Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 30th, 2022. If you like support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. You will start by looking at WTI oil, and it's going to be really interesting what basically happens in a few uh, basically minutes when the market opens because um, there is. Um, positivity when it comes to negotiation between the European uh, or between U Ukraine and also Russia and if there is news that negotiations are going to continue or basically pick up again and probably have a conversation between uh, leader of Ukraine and Russia then this market could heavily be affected by that as it is technically fear and also the uncertainty with uh, what's happening in Ukraine that is fueling this market to the upside because it's definitely not the world economy we are in a channel you have it here we also have it here we are going uh, higher lows continuation and at this current stage we could head to the top of this which is 116 and then drop towards the lower part and then you just continue in this pattern 116 is definitely an area of uh, interest. It's basically what we uh, tested here and then pull back, break above here, and then 120 and 125 will come into play. Break it below this channel, then that opens the door to the 200 moving average down here, and that is probably as far as this market will go in the long, long term. So if, this, uh, if the market uh, pulled back then is probably because it's uh, reacting to the news um, over the weekend and uh, if we have a sudden drop here then watch out below because markets should not be at this level when basically China is uh, is uh, cutting back Euro European economy, economy is struggling and the US economy is struggling as well so so Usually, this is basically the sector that has not had a major pullback. Uh, if you just look at every other sector, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas pulled back yet again to the 20 exponential uh, moving average. But this market, if the if the oil market is going to be affected, then the natural gas market is definitely going to be affected. We have a double top here from Wednesday and Thursday, and then on Friday we pull back to the 20 moving average. And we have been doing that for quite some time now, pulling back to a 20 rally, pulling back towards the 50, and then rally 20, and yet again. So 20 moving average is important, and the 50 moving average as well. So dropping below the 20, then we could drop towards the 50. And if we drop below here, then the 200 moving average could come into play. There are a few levels that are also very important. It's 6.5. It is basically seven, which is roughly around here. And then also the $8 range that is important. If you look at technical indices, we can see the MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So these two pullbacks here, the um, shooting stars, that should be a fairly good warning. But buying here on Friday, late on Friday, that is also a fairly bullish sign. So it could basically go either way. Either than that, this market has basically been fueled that demand for um, U.S. natural gas will continue into the future as Europe cannot buy uh, or buy less from Russia or will basically stop buying from Russia. And uh, when things cool down in Europe and they will continue, if they start buying from Russia yet again, then this could be really, really ugly and fall back towards the levels that should be where it um, where it should be, which is roughly around this area here of a 3.8 and give or take 4.8 within this area here. So hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel, subscribe and hit the like button, the bell button to see our videos and good luck and thank you very much.